What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to manually create a ductwork. Okay, so previously, I have shown you how to create ductwork automatically. So this time, we are going to do it manually. So in this exercise, we are going to modify existing ductwork and then use the tool connect into to connect components to the existing air system. And then also we are going to convert a rigid duct into a specified lengths of uh, flex duct. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So I'm going to zoom into this area here. So this is where I'm going to do my layout, my duct work. So as you can see, I have here my duct color fill legend. Okay, so currently there's no color because we haven't laid out yet our duct work. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to click this mechanical equipment, this water source heat, uh, heat pump, WSHP. So we are going to click that. And then again, when you click that, you will be able to see all the connectors on this particular family. So you have the supply connector and then you also have return connector and then you have a pipe connector and then you also have electrical connector. For this one, we are going to use this connector here. Okay. Previously on older version of uh, Revit, so for you to be able to create ductwork, you need to right click that node and then select draw duct. Okay, so aside from selecting draw duct, you will be able to see also other options. Okay, but now on the newer version, all you have to do for you to be able to create the duct work is to click the icon, the connector icon there. Okay, so you just click that one. Alright, and then that's now your duct. So what we are going to do is we're going to change the size of that duct. Oh, I mean, we're going to change the type because currently the type here is my third elbow stops okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to click the drop down arrow and then i'll be using my third elbows beveled tops okay so that's what i'm going to use so i'm going to select that one and then after that i'm going to place it just somewhere here okay you can specify here the elevation if you want but I'm just going to follow the elevation of this uh, mechanical equipment. So it's 9 feet, 10 and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to pick here. And then after that, I'm going to move my cursor just below the lowest uh, diffuser. So maybe somewhere here. That's it. And then after that, I'm going to select modify. Okay, so what I'm going to do is from the browser, uh, browser, project browser, I'm going to select uh, level 1 3D MEP. And then I'm just going to zoom into this area here. Alright, escape. And then I'm going to select the floor plan. And then I'm going to tile it. There you go. Okay. So I have my floor plan and then my 3D so I can see also the 3D uh, 3D view. Right. Okay, so after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create the branch duct lines. Okay, so I'm going to select this diffuser here. So let's click this one. Oh, just remember the height of this is 9, 10 and a half, right? So I'm going to select this diffuser and then again, I'm going to select that icon there to create duct. So let's click this one. All right. And then after that, let's go to the properties. Don't click yet. So let's go to properties and then let's change the type. So for the type, I'm going to select uh, my third elbow stops. Okay. Just click that one. And then after that, I need to change the elevation. Okay, so I need uh, 9 and 10 and a half uh, inches. So 9 feet, 10 and a half. So for you to be able to do that, you just need to type 9 and then space 10 and then space 1 half. Okay, Revit will automatically read this as 9 feet, 
10 and a half inches. Why? Okay, so I'm going to cancel this one first. I'm going to select modify. If I'm going to type UN, UN, that's the shortcut of units, okay? And check the units. So you will see here that my length is set to feet and inches, okay? So feet and fractional inches. So that's the current settings of my uh, length. Same with my distance. The distance here is in feet. Okay, you can also check the other discipline like for example HVAC because this is just the general uh, units. Okay, you can modify from here. So this is the common or general uh, discipline or units. So if I go to HVAC, I'll be able to see also here the uh, HVAC units and then the current format. So again, for your design, you can modify this. So you can change, for example, the airflow. So instead of CFM, you can change that to whatever units that you would like. All right. So the current unit here of my length is in feet and inches okay so that's why automatically revit will read it as feet and inches so if i select this one and then i click the icon here to create the dock okay so again i'll change this one to my third elbow stops okay and then i'll change this one to nine space ten space one half okay so if i select height here but I'm not going to change. I'm just going to click this. You will notice automatically the elevation here will uh, modify. Get place. It will place the unit uh, icon. So I'm going to click here. There you go. See? There's the feet. And then, then there's your inches. Okay? So 9 and 10 and a half. So let, let us just click now our main, uh, main duct. So let's click to place our duck. There you go. Okay. And then just select here modify to terminate. So as you can see, there's now a color here on my model. So that's why you will notice my color fill legend here is now being updated. So if you want to check what's the settings of this, just click that and then go to edit scheme. And then you can see that my current color there is dark uh, color fill, which shows the flow. So if you want, you can change the velocity by velocity, and then you can select OK. So it will show you this type of uh, color fill legend. Okay, so it's by velocity color coded. Let's click this. I'll just use a simple one, uh, color fill, which shows the flow. Okay, there you go. All right, so we are going to apply the same uh, procedure to the other air terminals. Okay, so let's click this. Okay, so let's click that icon. Right? And then we're going to change this one, my third elbow stops. 9 space 10 space 1 half and then let's click this dock there you go then select modify okay so there is another way for us to be able to connect our air terminal to a dock okay so to do that we are going to use the tool connect into so by the way this procedure that we are doing right now you can also apply this to your piping Okay, so remember that. So you can also do this to your piping. So we are going to do piping later on on this uh, session. Uh, not on this session, but on the next video. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to select air terminal. So once you select that, look at the layout panel. You can see the tool here, connect into. Okay, so it creates a physical connection between a selected component and a duct or pipe. So you can also do this to your pipe. Okay, so let's click this, connect into, and then we are going to select the duct here. And there you go. You see? It's now connected. So I'm going to apply that also to the other diffuser. Just click, connect into, and then click your duct. 
there you go and then select here modify okay so as you can see after we use the connect into the ductwork is automatically created and is sized appropriately for the next size of the diffuser and then again you will also notice that the color field indicates the flow value okay right all right so now the next thing that we are going to do here is we are going to convert duct to a flex duct so let's say i do not want this uh rigid ducts like this i don't like that on my design so what i want is i want a flexible duct okay so i plexi duct so to do that we're going to convert it so let's go to the systems tab and then look for hvac panel so there's this tool that is called convert to flex duct so the shortcut is cv okay so it changes a length of ductwork connected to an air terminal from rigid duct to flexible duct okay so you can do that so you can click this one and then after that you need to select the air terminal do not select the duct so you need to select the air terminal we can do this here on the floor plan view or here on the 3d view okay so let's do that on my 3d view so you need to select the uh, air terminal anyway you will not be able to select the duct even if you want right so you need to select the air terminal just click that and it will be converted to a flexible duct so just click that and you will also notice my floor plan here updates so let's click the air terminals to convert to flex duct and that's it and then after that just select here modify okay now to ensure that the system has a proper uh, flow propagation and accurate system calculation so you need to add an end cap because you see this one the end here is open so we need to add an end cap to create a closed loop okay so for us to be able to ensure that the system has proper flow propagation and accurate system calculation okay so to add an end cap okay you just simply select your duct and then after that from the edit panel so there's the cap open end so that's it just click that and it will now add a end cap an end cap there which is this one here okay all right now the next thing that we're going to do it's time to size our main duct so i'm going to show you how to uh, simply split and size your main duct so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom into this area here okay so by the way if i click this duct here the main duct and then from the properties you look at the mechanical you can see a mechanical flow you can see here the actual airflow right so it's 1470 1470 you just need to add 360 330 450 and 330 okay so it's just telling us that on this stock so this is the total amount of flow that is being supplied to this main dock here okay by just looking here at the mechanical air airflow right so we're going to split this okay this this part here so to split let's just go to the modify and then select the tool split element or you can type sl so that's the shortcut of split element so it's like a, a split i just forgot it's like a break break in auto hud okay but this one we're going to use split here in revit so let's select split okay and then let's split our duck maybe somewhere here let's click that there you go so it's now split and then I'm going to select modify now the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, hover my pointer remember for you to be able to select the connection of your ductwork or your pipe work you need to hover your pointer to one uh, duct segment and then after that you need to press your tab three times for you to be able to select 
the entire duct network or highlight the entire duct network. So once it highlights, you click it to select. Okay? Select it. And then after that, just like what I have shown you on my, our last video, you select here duct pipe sizing. Okay? So just click that one. And then you will be going to your duct sizing here. Okay? So you can select here friction and then the type of friction and velocity and then the velocity. So for this one, I just want to design this based on the friction using these settings. And then after that, I want to constrain the, the height. Oh, I, I don't want to constrain it. So let us just uncheck restrict height. So this height constraint is used when you place duct in a restricted space, let's say such as a plenum. Okay? So I do not want to restrict the height or the width. So I'll just use the branch sizing calculated size only. And then after that, I'll just select OK. And let's see what will happen. There you go. So it's now properly sized. Okay. So let's just select modify to deselect the model. So this is now how it looks like. Okay. You can verify again your your duct sizing. So if you click this duct here, for for the main duct, if you look at the flow, it's still 1470. Okay? Now for this duct here, if I click this, so now it's only 780 because this is the only air that is supplying to this duct here. So 450 plus 330. So that is 780 CFM total flow for this particular uh, segment. You see the flow. Alright. There you go. So that's how you edit your, uh, that's how you manually create your ductwork. Okay. So it's not that difficult. So just make sure you have a good understanding on the modifier tools. So, because not only split, sometimes you also need to use rotate, you need to copy, you need to align, you need to trim, etc., etc., or mirror, okay? But this is how you do it. Very basic. So, hopefully, you learn something from this video. On our next topic, we are going to discuss designing a mechanical piping system. Again, if you want to support me, you want to use the exact exercise files that I'm using, you can always check the video description. I have put there the link so you can avail the exact exercise files that I'm doing or that I'm using right now. Or of course, you can use your actual uh, project to apply this knowledge. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.